What's up, Internet? It's Friday, October 12th. The sun came out, and I'm going to go for a ride. So this whole week, it's been nothing but 30 degrees, maybe high into the 40s, overcast, drizzle. It's just been miserable. I feel like I haven't seen the sun in almost a week, and I don't think I'm exaggerating. So when the sun came out today, I was like, oh my gosh, I've, I've got to go ride. It's a little bit chilly for my taste, but considering the weather we have been having all week long, it's gorgeous today. I had to get out. I forgot what a clean visor looks like, man. I don't think I've cleaned my visor in a long time. Oh, my helmet smells so good. Ah, love it. I normally don't like riding my bike this time of day. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. It's like the height of rush hour, man. Everybody's just antsy, tired of work. A lot of people working at a job they don't like. All they want to do is get home and watch the news talk about Trump's tweets. So I wanted to talk about counter steering. The first time I heard about counter steering, I think I was 17, 18 years old. I had just gotten my motorcycle license and I had to take a uh, safety course, which, you know, at the time I was 17, 18, I thought I knew everything. The last thing I wanted to do was take a safety course that was taught by some old dudes on big old gold wings. And all I could think about is what are these guys going to teach me? The reality is it ended up being really, really good, but that was the first time I was introduced to counter steering. <laughs> I remember sitting in the classroom and the guy's like, yeah, you turn your handlebars to the left to get the motorcycle to lean to the right. And I thought, what? What are you talking about? I just lean. Well, yeah, come to find out, nobody just leans. It's all about the handlebar inputs and you literally push the handlebars in the opposite direction you want the bike to lean and that is called counter steering now i'm not going to pretend to know how the heck any of that works man something about the reciprocating mass of the front wheel creates this gyroscopic effect and then that engages the flex capacitor and yeah now now i'm just making stuff up but i thought it was kind of funny and i'm willing to bet that Pretty much everybody watching this video, or at least a large group of people watching this video, are probably too young to even know what movie the flex capacitor came from. I'll tell you what, let's make a little competition out of it. The first person to correctly name the movie and the year the movie came out will get a free t-shirt. Now, I'm not going to show you a picture and tell you what kind of t-shirt it is. I'm just going to tell you it'll be a motorcycle related t-shirt. Might be a street bike, might be motocross. I don't know. I'm going to pick something random and I'm going to send it right to you. So there you go. First person to comment correctly. The movie and the year it was released. Happy Googling. So the second time I heard about counter steering was probably about, I don't know, five or six years after I took the motorcycle safety course, which by the way, if you are new to street bikes, and even if you've been riding street bikes for a while, if you've never heard of counter steering, you don't know what it is, I strongly recommend you find yourself a good safety course, teach you some good fundamentals about how to actually steer the bike, because I'm telling you, you, you don't just lean. Back to the second time I heard about counter steering. So it's about five or six years later, I'm like in my early 20s, and I uh, got a 1997 GSX-R 600. About a year after I bought that bike, um, I wanted to go racing. So I attended a racing school, got my racing license, but in the racing school, which was taught by David Aldana, by the way, seen flat track in America, he's raced World Superbike overseas, I think in the late 70s, early 80s. Anyway, I'm gonna include a link in the description uh, great video of him, I think back in 2012. Guy's still racing, flat track. He's probably like grandpa age at that point, but still knows how to fly around track on a motorcycle. Do you need to know about counter steering to ride? No, you can get by. But what's cool is once you know about it, you can manipulate it to your advantage, right? It just, it's a tool to help you ride better and safer. And if you're gonna go racing, It'll help you uh, go faster on a racetrack. Now there's a bunch of different videos on counter steering motorcycles and uh, some of them are okay. Uh, I found a couple that I think are pretty good. One by a guy named Keith Code. 
this is a really old video you can tell by the footage but it's excellent information and they go into like really great detail i'll include a link to keith code's video and uh, a second video that i found that i thought was pretty good as well so look for those in the description oh yeah one more thing about the free t-shirt Nobody related to me or is friends with anybody that I know is allowed to win the free t-shirt. I think it would be way cooler if it was a complete stranger that I've never met. I hope you live in the continental United States. If not, I'll pay shipping, whatever. Oh, check it out. They got married. <laughs> So I would like to thank the Bruce Bruce, I think that's his name, it doesn't matter. When I go back to edit this video, his name will appear right there. Oh look, there it is. Thank you for pointing out that my videos were not widescreen. Counter steering, counter steering, counter steering, counter steering. Counter -steering. You want to practice counter steering? Go find yourself a nice big open parking lot. You don't need to go that fast, man. 25 miles per hour is fast enough, 30 pops. Take a look at the videos in the description, check them out. If you've never done a riding school, whether it's a safety course or a road racing school or anything like that, man, I highly encourage you to do so. You can learn a lot. It's just gonna make you a better rider. And uh, until next time, man, see you guys later.